my floss tube, it's Charlotte, the woolly half stitcher here. So, it is now Friday something. So, I haven't spoke about my project in about two weeks today. So, I've been quite a bit, not too much, because I've been busy and busy and busy. And yesterday, didn't get much stitching done. Because I went out to get the rest of me little girl's stuff for a christening on Sunday. And then she turns one on Wednesday. So a year has gone so quick. It is untrue. And it's quite scary. So, I've been working on three things this week. And another thing as well, but I will show you that later. So... As you all know, I've been working on my Doctor Who, mm -hmm. and this is so far. So all I've got is this page, then I've got this page here, and then to finish it off, I've got one stitch there. So it will be my very last stitch. So this is going to be a Christmas present for my husband and he knows it's a Doctor Who piece and he's guessed it's a TARDIS because of all the blue but I've told him he could be wrong, he cannot be but I actually love this piece it's been an actually nightmare because I fell out of love with it well I love it but at the same time I'm a bit like worked on it that much so in like 40 days I only had them two pages and then the rest I've really done in about 40 45 days so yeah maybe this will be my fun print but uh, I can't wait for it to be finished and then it's going to get framed but I'm hoping all these grid marks come out Hopefully, but yeah, I'm filming now because my husband's going off to the gym. I was like, yes, off to the gym you go. Been doctors this week and I apparently have severe baby brain. So if I promise anything to anyone, or I planned two weeks ago for this, yeah, they've not been going. So like I said the other day, on my last floss tube, I pulled out the fly cross stitch and was like, I don't want to put it away. I haven't. So, when you last saw it, I was frogging out. What was I frogging out? I was frogging out, yeah. So sent. Or was I? I might have been frogging out the eye. No, I was frogging out the eye. Yeah. Frogging out the eye. And then I've done that one and done that one. And then I've done one letter today. Because I went my parents yesterday and I never do any stitching. And I was going to stay up, but it got so cold. I was like, no, bedtime. So hopefully I'll finish that page by the time I next see you and go on to the next page. Like, a page finish will be about, say up to about there. So I've done more on page nine because I didn't want to do a little bit of the words or the letters and then go back to it. Didn't want it. So yeah. I love that. And it's going to be huge. Like, actually huge. Like, I brought more fabric than I needed. But, like, it's huge. It will most likely take up all this. But that's where it ends. So, I can take, say about that, and I can tea and coffee dye that and use it for Lizzie Cates little ornaments so that is my plan it's going to be huge and it is going to get framed and my husband knows it's 
going to get framed. I say all the pages at the top are complete, but I'll show you an example. Taking out these little black stitch ones, they were all going to be different colours. But as I said last time, what's in this one? I'm hoping these will look alright. I don't know if they're too thick. So I'm going to have a little go. If they're too thick, then I won't use them. But if they aren't, I'm going to use them. And then, I don't. For those, because I know some people have never heard of Deck White Cross Stitch, this is what it's going to look like. And you can get this off Amazon, you can get it off a long dot website, you can get it from everywhere. But I got mine off Amazon and I've been looking at it for ages and I was like, I really want it. My husband was like, get it then, if you really want to get it. So I was like, well, I might not do it. And I've got to make sure for a project that big, because I've never worked off, worked off charts, but not brought a chart to get it up it's always been kits so if anybody wants to know what the thread is it is this it's dmc variegated 4010 and i love this so i keep it in that and i know i'm gonna have to buy more but a lot of people won't, if they buy for a project, they'll buy all of it together. But for me, I was like, no, nah, I'll just buy it as go. Because the variegated ones, there's not going to be much difference, hopefully, in the dial up. So, yeah. I'm going to hopefully get through them. And then I'll know how much more I'll need. Because I, I don't really use variegated. But for this one, I was like, yes. So I then, my third one is a new start. You've seen Stitch Long on it if you watch the Stitch Long video. And I will show you what it is. Well, it's a heaven and earth, and my Fezzy told me about the sale. So I went through and found out what I wanted. You find it because I did have it on the screen, but it's gone like normal, everything goes so. It is this one, and she is absolutely gorgeous, and she's coming out really amazing. I started a night time on the 1st of October and it is Heaven Earth Designs Faces Balor Bonaventure by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Griff. You know what I'm trying to say. So, this is Clement Williams on this day. 10 full days, a little bit. I didn't start it till about half 11 that night. So, technically, it's only 10 days' work. And that is here so far. And she is absolutely gorgeous. And it's not costing me much to kiss her up because I'd already got most of the threads. And then I've got two CXCRD threads for this colour because it's not black it's like a blue a really dark blue and I went and grabbed the two that I've got and they were different to the DMC one so I went and ordered more of mine I've nearly run out again of that colour so when I get my retreat in two weeks time I will buy more I haven't got all the friends I've got most of them and these are absolutely beautiful colours. 
I don't look at them. Yeah, my box is messy. It always will be. Right. Look at that. And these like pinks are absolutely amazing. So yeah, they're all the ones. And I probably will only use like a little bit of each. Except from that colour. That looks black, but it's actually bluey black. It actually looks more blue in the camera. So the cat's visiting. That is pink. So yeah, I'm going to see how much I can get done on this. And if I complete it, I will treat myself to another one. And yeah, I actually love that. And then I've got Mad Stitches Crew Retreat. June 18th. So yeah, that's here. And then, if you remember my main mothers that I was working on and nearly finished. It's finished. I actually love this. How awesome is that? Oh, it smells so nice. I don't know what it's been with. I know what it smells like. That's mental. Yankee Candle. My mum brought me a Yankee Candle. It's like a cocktail one. And I've had it lit whilst working on this. And it smells like it. And that's mental. It's a word of advice. If there's a candle you don't like, of the Yankee candle, but you're burning it for someone else, don't cross stitch in the same room. Because it smells of it. New one, that one. Right. So, I've got two Christmas presents that I took to get framed. Um, I think I've shown them before in YouTube. So if you give me a sec, I'll go get them. I've got them. And I don't know where my husband's put them. No, I don't know where my husband's put them. So I might do that on a different one. My husband's good at this. He'll put things away without telling me. Let me quickly go check for another place. are Christmas presents for my mum. This is the same frame as Headless Horseman. I absolutely love them. How nice is that? So, Grandmummy's Treat Shop. Little Ghoul's Welcome. And it's got all the buttons. And I know they're American. Them ones, but I like them with them. I feel like cake, maybe. And then, this frame, I'm thinking of getting Dr. Who frames in this frame. Even the husband's like, I like the frame. How beautiful is that frame? So, what happens at Grandma's stays at Grandma's. I love the buttons. Absolutely. So, so, uh, so, so I think that What do you guys think? Because my husband won't pick and free. I'll ask him if he wants um you know the Oh, what to call it? Well, it's got like a 
Bordy. I'll ask him if he wants one. He's paying. But that has taken me so long. But yeah, I absolutely love them. So, haul. That's not haul. New bags. So, I was on eBay and found biddings for this fabric. It's like muslin cloth. But in the image it looked like it could actually be a bit like linen. So, there is like tiny, tiny holes. So, and they're huge. I'm thinking like Lizzie Kate's the little ones will fit on these. And make them into pillows or something. They are very thin. But maybe if I need a magnifier, if anybody's got any good magnifiers that they can recommend, please do. I'm hoping someone at the retreat's got a magnifier and I can practice. So yeah, if I double it up, it's not that see-through and they're quite long. But you like, just get on with it, woman. Then we had another one. This I'd already practiced on and didn't realise. I've done it double by accident. So we just did a little practice on it. And then the little stitches. So it is stitchable. I just have to be very careful when stitching on it. So I can't go like the clappers. So we had, I'll just show you what the colours are. Like. This is a little thicker. This isn't as flimsy. As you can see, still see through but it is it isn't as soft is what I'm looking at for it's another one they aren't really that variegated them ones they've got a little bit look at that colours are actually beautiful right, this is a good one for Halloween Then, we have this one. So I'll be taking the retreats and just see what people think. Like, these are absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to make a use for them. I'm not chucking them away or giving them away. And it only cost me a postage, a tenner. So, ten pound for these. And I think, like, the Lady Kate strings look really good on these. See, it just goes on and on. Yeah, that was a I used. Like, the variegation on that is absolutely gorgeous. So, I need to find some use for it. This is another good Halloween one. This is very see through. But this is a really nice one. Nearly there, nearly complete, I promise. Oh, they are. Oh, I like this one. And then. One. And they are huge. Like that's just double driver. So to make it thicker, I could like sit there and double them up. Like, 
It was way for this. Ten pounds. And then the last one. So yeah. Worth it. So the next haul, well I knew buy I got. If you remember last time I was on about all this cakes when I went to the shop. Yeah, baby rain early on. Went back in the kitchen to make the broom. And my husband was like, why are you fingering the pot? Like, I'm not sure I'll get along. I hadn't. It was lukewarm. And so I had to buy. Eh, had to buy. Had to get enough. I, I can't sit there and drink that. That's awful. So, two weeks ago I said about I've been to Nimplimble and got Liz Kate ones. Well, as I was filming, Chris from Nimble Thimble and I don't know if I can read that. That is the address if anybody wants it or their telephone number or just screenshot it and that. Right, sorry, my nails are awful. So yeah, Nimble Thimble emailed me while I was doing this and I think I said in the video that I regretted not getting loads more. I actually regretted, but it was like two o'clock at closing time when we were at the till and she told us it was half price. So she emailed me back and said, I've got all these charts, blah, blah, blah. Not all the ones I wanted. I'm still after the boo. Unicorn. Which is actually a freezer bag. But, so, that's going to be my new start out of the truth. But I'll tell you more about that in two weeks' time. So, I want more of these boot cloth, which will be that in the end. But I've got four so far. Keep them going. And then I want to eventually do. Where is it? I want to do them eventually. No, also, my Bezzy messaged me yes, not yesterday, the day before, and she's managed to get me three ways, the whole set, so I'm so grateful. So that will be in two weeks time. I will show that hopefully. If not, it will be in four weeks time or three weeks time, I'm not sure. Because I decided I'm not going to do my stitch longs for a little bit, I don't think. Just because my house is so hectic at the moment. I'm trying to find time, like my little girl's in there watching 20 stories. She's actually found nothing she can do. I can hear her. And Toy Story hasn't ended yet. I've just really put it on. And I think, to be honest, she's probably gone for a nap. I don't know why I'm looking at that clock. Because it isn't working. I need batteries. Well, I put batteries in my dinosaur outfit. Which I will show you a picture of. But I've also brought... In the heaven and earth... I know I'm going off subject to what I was on about. When I brought my heaven and earth bow, I also brought mini Cinderella. So I'm hoping to get it started soon. Hoping. But I want the sparkly backgrounds like Teresa Craig did. So, I don't know what I was on about. Oh yeah, dinosaur outfit. See baby brain, this is why I keep going from one subject to another. Because baby brain, I'm forgetting what I'm on about. How bad is that? Mum took a photo and kept telling me off because I kept hitting her on the way. That was me in the dinosaur outfit for the retreat. So you'll probably see a video of me prattling around with it. But mum was like, stop hitting me lights. I'm sorry. 
I was trying to get my phone, I just kept hitting the line. So anyway, Chris from Nimble Fimble messaged me and I says, right, we'll have them. So I rung up and said, here's my card details, take the money. So this is my Lizzie Cakes. So we have Tiny Tidy 2, which is number 42. Then we have Wow From All Seasons, which hasn't got charm, I just have to check. Then we have Tidy Tidy. I actually don't know what that is in Roman numerals, but it's 113. That's just something. Now I've seen, because I watch, um, binge watching just keeps stitching and stuff actually sat there and stitch that. I'm sorry, they're not in the right way because I was messing with them. But these I have to give to my husband to put away for Christmas. Just like some of the stuff from buying at the retreat, I've got to hand it back over. Like I'm getting Rosie's problems. Already pre-ordered it. And my husband's giving me the money. My brother's going to buy it me, but my husband is like. So it means I've got more money. So he's giving me the money to go get it. And then when I get back from the retreat, I have to give it to him. And I'm very reluctant because I'm starting. So I think that's Christmas Day to start. This is Tiny Tidy's XI, 126. And there is an embellishment pack available. But I might get him for him. So if you see, he's got little poofs. But I think I'll just go to that shop and buy little bits for him. Then we have. Tiny Tidings Free, number 62. Then I'd seen this one and I'd put it back because I was very much like, for the price it's small but I didn't realise it was half price which I would have grabbed it if I did. Mothers, so that says mothers hold their children's hands a while their hearts forever. And it's got like two little cushiony things. Which, there's a shop down the road from me that just like, they've got uh, sewing machines. And they do like stuff for caravans, like upholstery, and they make curtains and stuff. So I'm thinking, I'm going to that quickly. I'm thinking I might actually get them to finish it. No, I think this house has got a ghost. A oh, little bit off topic, I know. But I was in the bathroom and I saw something come from my little girl's room. Elaine, do not freak yourself out. Because I know it will. And I promise you, if there is, it's nothing to worry about. Unlike Jane, who was at our retreat in Wales. <laughs> that was another story. But I thought this cat come from where the litter tray is over and when I went out, it was only a second or two after me and there was nothing there, the cats were downstairs. So I think there's something in this house but it's not going to hurt me and it's friendly enough because I haven't done anything to me as of yet. Then we have Air Friends for All Seasons. And the button cap embellishments were in the way. I love this. And they are the embellishments. So we have an acorn, a snowflake, a snail, and a butterfly. They are so cute. So I got that. And then I've seen this one as well, and I put it back. I also put that one back as well. And it is Coffee Crazy, number 128. I love it. So I'm hopefully going to get these done, and then maybe finish like that a little bit and hang it on the walls. I 
above where my kettle is. I'd also seen this one and I'd put it back. And I did regret putting it back. And it is Bugs and Kisses. Now, can somebody explain why I have two bats? I don't understand it. And the fact that there's a bat there and they look different. Tell me it's not me, but that looks different. 100% different. That looks like it's got more character. That doesn't. They're the right ones. At least I think they are. And then you get a little spider. I hate spiders, but I can cope with that one. Which yesterday, when I went with my mum and dad's, could have killed my dad. He was like, shall sure, I come in the kitchen to my deal? Like you do when somebody says, come in the kitchen, you come in the kitchen. You don't question them. Except when you do as you're walking through. Why do you want me? And he says, oh, just grab me that on the floor. No chance, there's a spider. I can see it's like that one. So yeah, and also, if you didn't want to use the bat shown, because you can't, for they're them, you've also charted a bat. So you can use, you could do two of them with them. Can't do that, but you could actually go out and buy it. But, you could do two of them to get a spider charm and then because you get more beads as well and it's in little buttons for the eyes but you could do the big bat you could do it without the necklace and do the big bat but I'm thinking the orange hair it's like all variegated and so is the dress just for them two. I'm not doing it on the witch. Oh, what a back switch. I wonder if that's whisper. Is that whisper thread? Let's investigate. But you're like, just get on with it. Stop looking. Because I know I know yourself. It's on there, why am I doing that? Oh, this is what my life is like at the moment. Like, I'm currently cleaning my house because we have people coming. We have two staying. Oh, yeah. That's what I wanted to look. Which is hair? I'm guessing so. Does anybody know? Back stitch which is hair in one. Fly Arctic Rays Wispy Fringe Green. Anybody know where I can get that from? In the UK. I would really appreciate if somebody told me. Arctic Rays Wispy Fringe Green. Never heard of it. So they're all my bigger charts. Then I have the snippets, which I have cross stitch in residence. I then have, and this will look great in something like this one. So we have the spooky string. This was from the half price one. Well, maybe stuff more actually. It's the reason why I've got them. Well, not the reason. I love Lizzie Kate. And I realise why I never liked them. And I'll explain that in a bit. So we have Spring String. That rabbit's cute. So, the strings I am going to use, 
my equities are. And then getting finished onto a board. I've got to investigate because I've never claimed anything up until this point. I have a box full of stuff like you've already seen. Now this is oh sorry. I don't think you saw enough. This is a thankful string. Very American. But well, I've got American friends and I've got an American grand. Well, I adopted it and she adopted me. So I think I might do that anyway, even though it's got a turkey. I like to do it so when Thanksgiving is around, I can think about the people I know in America. Then we have doggy string, and I don't have a dog. But I want to do all my strings and put them. I, I want a dog so much. I'm like, oh, baby. I want a doggy, and I've got the doggy string up, so we need a doggy. So, yeah. Now, I picked this one up, and I did put it down, and I regretted it when I left. Wait. Remember, I don't have to. I mean, the have to for this ring is to show all of it. So, forgive quickly, kiss slowly. Then we have boo. So, I could do boo in one of them. Then we have treat time. Then I have, I love this one, and that's what I tried on that little one. That is the You Have Stolen My Heart. And I think it's so cute. And if I've got some little charms, I could put little hearts in. So yeah, I love that one. And then, my last one was this one so jolly round and kind he is santa you bring joy to me and that is jolly round and kind santa 14 and it comes you see there's a little button i have the button and i didn't check if any of these got buttons no Nope, 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 um, Halloween rules as well, really want it and I want to collect the boo club and then I've been looking everywhere and I don't know if there is me to say this if anybody's got Liz Kate a good marriage I am looking for it everywhere if you have one for sale please let me know if you have one you can lend me I will happily pay and send it back but I really want to do a good marriage. I've looked on some, so they don't like the side, does it? Someone does it on Etsy. Finished for 223 or 28 pounds. I want to stitch it. I got given the opportunity to buy two big lazy cakes. Already done, already free, absolutely gorgeous. Got all the charms and everything, but I really liked him. But I want to stitch them. I want my work up on the walls. I don't want someone else's. Unless it was a gift. Then I 100% appreciate that. It's someone's thoughts been put into that for me. And gifts for me. No matter how small. Or how big they are. Even if it's like. Say you got. This for 50p. But you fall to me. Then. I would appreciate that so much. Like I said to my husband, please on about Christmas, and even if you get me a chocolate bar that I didn't know about, 
You thought about that chocolate ball. <laughs> Sounds wrong. You thought about it and you've given it me. And I can't ask for anything more. If you spent 200 quid on a gift, wow. Will you spend 50p on a gift? I appreciate it, babe. Unless I live cakes then, yeah. But yeah, I really, really want a good marriage. Even if you can lend it me and I'll stitch it straight away. Or Halloween rules or Christmas rules. I don't want them for keeps. And I'll do swaps with people once I've stitched them. But yeah, I don't want anything gifted to me. I just really, really want to do a good marriage. Or if you know where I can get it from, that I can buy it at the end of the month or another time, then even better. Because I don't want to be receiving things for free. I honestly just want to borrow something, give it back. But yeah, so good marriage if you know where it is let me know but i think that's about it for me yeah that i can see have i got anything else so plans are <laughs> but i didn't work on the plans that i did last time i want to get more done on here i want to one can't really finish. I want to do more on this one and I want to do more on Death by Cross Stitch. I'm aiming for a page finish on Doctor Who, page finish on Death by Cross Stitch, two pages on her. Like this one is nearly done for a page. I literally have just that bit done. All to do. So as you can see, there's barely any more to do. So I want to do a page, another page finish. I do love her. So it won't be that. I know it won't be that because I need to get more of that colour, which I'll get at the retreat. And I'll class page finish as much as I can with the colour. Because I can't go buying any more threads until I've been to the retreat and gotten there. So yeah. So page finish on that one to as far as I can regarding the colour. That page there, if I do it the right way. And I only got about eight letters left on that other page. And I'm planning on doing two, two a day letters, and that'll be what I'm doing. So yeah, I don't have much more to say, other than just keep working on what you're loving. And if you're not loving it anymore, put it away until you do love it, until it's cool in you. I've gone through loads of stuff today, so that I can't move when I come back to the retreat. I can just plunk it into a drawer and my husband will be normalizing. So yeah, apart from that. Oh, this week has been busy because it's Friday now, but Sunday my little girl gets christened. Then on Wednesday it is her birthday and we have ordered Cake. lots of cake and we did have an amazing cake but my husband ate it and oh, this is the cake we ordered and she's got one for her birthday we've got a chocolate orange one coming and um, she's got one for Sunday and that is absolutely amazing so yeah, we've got lots of cake, so we'll be doing that and then I've got work in two weeks time and then I've got my retreat. Right, didn't plan for this to be a long video so I need to go, I need to upload it before my husband gets back because he doesn't know I do last year. Right, thank you guys for watching.
I really highly appreciate it. And just keep stitching. Keep loving life. Alright, thank you guys. See you in a bit. Bye.